welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. First of all, I want to say that I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting recipes the last couple of weeks, but I first moved over here, voila, a new set. And also, I had my best friend's wedding in Peru, and so it was a bit hectic for me these couple of weeks. I literally couldn't find any time to record any recipe at all. But now I'm back and in a new kitchen. Well, actually it's not new because this is the flat where my boyfriend and I used to live before we moved to London to study. So it's really good to be back home. Well, enough of that. Now we're going to make today's recipe. I have for you some spicy chicken wings, which I think are perfect for Father's Day because for some reason, all the men in my family love chicken wings. With that, we're also going to make a sour cream dip just in case it's too hot for you, then sour cream is always a good option to dip in just to lower the level of the hotness in your mouth. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below or on the eye above me and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes. I'm now ready to make this chicken wing, so if you want to see how they're done, then keep on watching this video. I've already done something to my chicken wings and all I did was cut off with a pair of scissors those flappy pieces of skin that are laying around the chicken wing. I really don't like them, they never cook properly and so I just took a pair of scissors and chopped them off. The other thing that I've already done is I put some kitchen paper at the bottom just for it to soak all the moisture that's inside the chicken wings and this will help us get it really nice and golden in the oven. The drier that they are, the better the oven is going to be able to do its job and get them really nice and golden. And now we're even going to dry them a bit more. So now we're going to make the mix for our marinade. We have sesame oil, some brown sugar, paprika, cinnamon and also a bit of apple vinegar or cider vinegar. We'll also grate a couple of garlic cloves and also some ginger. I use this microplane grater that is really great. I really recommend that you buy one because it's not only very useful for garlic and then you don't have to be mincing it with a knife, but also you can zest lemons and oranges and basically any citrus and just the way that it takes out the oils from within gets a really nice smell onto the things that you're cooking. Now for spiciness, we're going to add some cayenne pepper and also some Tabasco. This is entirely up to you how much you add, but I will say you need to be careful with the cayenne pepper as it has a very particular burn at the back of your throat. However, adding the right amount, you will love it. We finish with a bit of salt and then we're ready. Like I said before, we're going to dry our wings once more. We're going to use kitchen paper and make sure that you fold it in half just so that the paper doesn't stick to the chicken and as it gets wet, get a new one. Mix it into the marinade and I would recommend that you don't use your hands for this because it's really spicy and then you might rub your eye or something and get it in there. So using a pair of tongs or a couple of spoons is just fine. And then this needs to rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes for it to soak up all the flavors that we put in the marinade. Okay, so now the chicken wings have been marinating in the fridge for about two hours and I'm gonna put them on top of this uh, cookie tray that has some baking paper on top and it's going to go into the oven which is already preheated to 200 degrees and it's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes for them to cook completely. Now there are a few considerations that you need to have about your oven. For example, if it's a gas oven, chances are that the heat comes from beneath and it won't get golden on top. So if that's your case then you probably want to finish them off with a broil on top. The other thing that you have to consider is that if you suspect that the temperature inside your oven is actually less than the one you're setting, then you probably need to buy an oven thermometer, but also you can set it a bit higher, maybe 20 degrees higher, just to make sure that they will get golden. Now 
now while these are in the oven, we're going to make the sour cream dip. To the sour cream, we're going to add some chives and a bit of lime zest, and this is to add freshness and just a different flavor to the sour cream. So I cut my chives really, really small because I don't like chunky pieces of chives inside any sauce really. And then we're going to add it to our sour cream. And then again using my microplane or you could also use the finest setting of a grater, we're going to add some lime zest into this mix. We also finish with some salt to taste. Anytime you're zesting a lime, you need to be very careful that you're not taking any of the white pith that is beyond the skin because this is really bitter and doesn't add any flavor to your mix. Now that the wings and the dip are ready, then we're on to eating. I decorate it with some toasted sesame seeds and also a bit of lime. Oh, they look gorgeous! That was my spicy chicken wing recipe. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. It makes me really happy. Please send me a picture if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog because I love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything that you would like me to teach you how to make, whether it's savory or sweet, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday, or at least trying to, and so if you don't want to miss any of them, then you can subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.